Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Larry Levis and appears in The Dollmaker's Ghost, published in 1981 by E.P. Dutton. This was the winner of the open competition for the National Poetry Series in 1981. The poem is entitled to a wall of flame in a steel mill, Syracuse, New York, 1969. Except under the cool shadows of pines, the snow is already thawing along this road. Such sun and wind. I think my father longed to disappear while driving through this place once in 1957. Beside him, my mother slept in a gray dress while his thoughts moved like the shadow of a cloud over houses, and he was seized suddenly by his own shyness, by his desire to be grass and simplified. Was it brought on by the road, or the snow, or the sky with nothing in it? He kept sweating and wiping his face until it passed, and I never knew. But in the long journey away from my father, I took only his silences, his indifference to misfortune, rain, stones, music, and grief. Now I can sleep beside this road if I have to, even while the stars pale and go out, and it is day. And if I can keep secrets for years, it is because men like us own nothing, really. I remember once in the steel mill where I worked, how a man opened the door of the furnace, and I glanced in at the simple, quick and blank erasures, the flames made of iron, of everything on earth. It was reverence I felt then. I did not know why. I do not know even now why my father lived out his one life, farming two hundred acres of gray Malaga vines and peach trees twisted by winter. They lived, I think, because his hatred of them was entire and wordless. I still think of him staring into this road twenty years ago while his hands gripped the wheel harder and his wish to be no one made his body tremble. He said it was like the touch of a woman he could not see, her fingers drifting up his spine in silence until his loneliness was perfect and she let him go her laughter turning into these sheets of black and glassy ice that dislodge themselves and ride slowly out onto the thawing river. That was Larry Levis to a wall of flame in a steel mill, Syracuse, New York, 1969. Uh, from the Dollmaker's Ghost, E.P. Dutton, 1981. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of this video for more information about Larry Levis, uh, more information about uh, where to purchase uh, the work of Larry Levis. These days, many of these books are hard to find. Uh, some of them have been reprinted. Many of them appear in collected and selected volumes, um, all of which I highly recommend checking out. Um, if you would like to support this channel, please consider liking these videos, subscribing to the channel, or just commenting below. Or you can just share these videos as links on social media and help others discover uh, contemporary poetry and poems of other great poets uh, and, and wonderful voices out there. Uh, I'm a great, grateful for the opportunity to, to share my love of poetry with you through the means of technology and through the platform of YouTube. And hope that in some small way this kindles within you a desire to keep on writing, keep on creating, keep on immersing yourself in the voices and experiences of, other, of others, and discover sort of the, broader, the broader community, the larger conversation we're all part of. Um, so if you want to check back, we'll be back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, and enjoy your weekend. Um, and we'll see you again soon. Uh, so until next time, stay safe and well. Keep reading, keep writing, keep being a part of this good, good work of poetry. And uh, we will see you again uh, in the next video for another reading. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And we'll be back again soon.